Hey, what's up guys? Jared Valdir here from Vladside Health. And today I wanna to show you six banded back exercises. They're gonna help you increase back strength and keep a healthy functioning back. The best part is you can do these anywhere. You can do them at home, you can do them on vacation, throw them in a suitcase, throw them in a bag, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing. Uh, even for me, you know, I have this awesome weight room here, plenty of iron, and I still continue to incorporate band resistance into my programs because it's it's very helpful, it's easy on the joints, and I wanna show you six exercises in particular that are gonna help with back strength and development. So, let's do it. All right guys, first thing we're gonna do is a suitcase row. So right now I have my medium strength band and I am going to put it underneath my feet like so and position my hands right in the straps there, right in the bands, as you can see, if I stand facing you here, I am using uh, my hands as the handles here. And this suitcase row is very easy. I'm going to hinge at the waist. You can see my chest is still nice and upright. Uh, I'm gonna make sure my head's not facing down. I'm gonna make sure I'm not hyperextended way up. I'm nice and neutral here. And then I'm going to row up. And uh, a big key on these rows is you want to really retract that elbow back. Think elbow back. And these are suitcase rows. So you can really play around with it however you want. Show you what it looks like here from the front. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, I like to hit some one arm rows. Um, maybe you want to keep the other arm in a uh, isometric hold while you're working the opposite arm. So that would be working on it like this. And this is already blowing up my back, man. Good stuff here. So that's uh, first on the list right there. And that's the suitcase row. All right guys, number two on the list is a single arm horizontal row. Uh, as you can see here, I've attached the band to the storage rack. Uh, you can find anything around the house that's gonna get the band off the ground about three feet. Word to the wise though, make sure it's secured properly. All right, so getting into this, this horizontal row. So I'm gonna stagger my stance here. Uh, get into my old right tackle stance. I'm gonna have my right arm. I'm gonna work my right arm first. So my right foot's gonna be back and I'm gonna keep that nice upright chest, um, nice neutral spine, and I'm gonna row back. Pulling that elbow back. Think elbow back, really make that your cue. And you can play around with the grip. Right now I'm doing a neutral grip, which is like a thumbs up grip. Uh, you can go a pronated grip, which is your palm facing the ground. Um, you can also work further out uh, instead of staying so close to your body, um, that's going to add a degree of difficulty to it. Um, you can see I had my opposite hand on my knee. You can take that off if you wanna work a little more core with the exercise. But man, oh man, this is already getting my heart rate up. I'm able to build some strength through this banded exercise. These horizontal rows are one of my favorites. And like I said, guys, somewhere between 10 and 20 reps. Look at that, I just did like eight, I'm a little winded. Gotta do some more rows so I can get it in shape for you guys, geez. All right guys, number three on my list is going to be a prone or laying on your belly positioned uh, pull down basically. So I'm going to get in this prone position. I'm going to grab the band. I'm gonna start with my hands pronated, which means my palms are facing down. And I'm gonna pull that band to my chest. And if you need more tension in the band to get a little more difficulty out of the exercise, now I'm gonna be in a, uh, a more neutral grip, but still pulling that band to my chest. Another thing I should mention, when you're doing any kind of banded work, um, I like to work the concentric pretty fast, pause at the top or the bottom like this, and then work a slower eccentric. So normal concentric, pause, slow eccentric. Normal concentric, pause, slow eccentric. And that's gonna give you more time under tension, which is gonna give you better results. And that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for results. That's why you guys are doing these banded exercises. All right guys, so that's number three on the list, the prone row or prone pull down, whatever you guys wanna call it.
Hey, real quick guys, I know we're in the middle of me demonstrating some banded lat exercises, but if you're getting anything out of this, please hit that like button. It helps me tremendously. It lets me know that you guys are liking this video so I can do some more banded exercise videos for you. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any awesome stuff like this. You don't wanna miss this. This is great stuff. This is helping you guys. Anyway, sorry to spam you. Back to the exercises. All right, moving on to number four on my list, and it's a seated horizontal row. So for this one, you wanna be seated on the ground. You want the band to be through your legs like this here. And uh, you wanna make sure you're keeping that chest big and upright, and you're gonna simply row right to the bottom of your chest. And you can play around with the grip. Uh, you can choke up on it for more resistance. Some common themes here, guys. Whatever kind of variation you gotta to do to get the most out of the exercise. And if you're doing a few sets of this, which is, I, I recommend doing a few sets of all these if you're gonna incorporate them in your workouts. Um, but a good thing to do is kind of play around with the grip every set. So each set doing kind of a, a different grip. So I could start with a, a, a palms down pronated grip. And then for my next set, I could go into a, a neutral grip. And then lastly, you can get real crazy and kind of grab it from the inside out here and then twist it towards us for a close grip variation. And if you really want to really get the most out of this close grip variation, you can see I'm taking it here, twisting it, and then I'm spreading it apart at the top of the lift. When you're doing this one, guys, you want to be really conscious of your posture. You don't want to be stuck with a slouched back. You want to keep that nice big chest, neutral spine, and row. You can see now we're working a little supinated finish there. Again, slight hand variations to get the most out of it and hit your lats in as many ways as you can possibly hit them. All right, guys, so that wraps up number four on my list, a seated two-hand horizontal row. Man, my back's really starting to feel good right now. Oh, working on the turtle shell. Yes, okay, moving on to number five. All right guys, for these last two exercises, I suggest going to a lighter resistance. So I'm gonna grab my red mini band. All right, number five on my list, a supinated grip, which means my palms are up, bent position, pull apart. A lot of those rows we work are great for lat development, but this is a great, great tool to build that mid back strength and mass. And these may look like they're super simple and easy, but I promise these will get your heart rate up and good luck doing 20. All right, last but not least, number six. On All right guys, last but not least, number six on my list is a standing supinated low pull apart. And again, this is really gonna hammer mid back strength. So I'm gonna set up with my palms facing outward like this. Uh, some, some nice tension here to start. And then I'm gonna get that nice big chest, neutral spine, and I'm gonna pull apart and try to go behind my hips. And I can feel that right at the belt line. And this is just really hammering that mid back strength. If you guys feel this with your shoulders when you're doing reps, you're not doing it right. You wanna feel this exclusively in the mid back area. Getting a big squeeze at the top is really gonna accentuate this one. So you can see here from the side, I got my setup. I'm pulling it apart right at the belt line. And that is awesome for mid back strength. So there you have it guys. There's six banded exercises you can do for back strength, for lat development. And you can take these anywhere you go. You can do them at your house if your gym shut down. Cause right now I'm filming this, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Uh, you can take them on vacation with you. Uh, you can do them anywhere. Honestly, I have a pretty good weight room set up here where I got plenty of iron and, and different options, but I still incorporate these band movements in my workouts because they are great at building strength and maintaining proper health in the muscle tissues and systems. The banded exercises are for the most part very easy on your joints and the accommodated resistance aspect of strength training is great for fighting through some plateaus and getting to that next level of gains. If you guys are finding these back exercises useful, hit that like button for me. I appreciate it greatly. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any awesome videos like this. They're gonna help you increase your strength and be the healthiest you possible. 
And if you haven't already, guys, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content like this. I wanna help you build your strength, be your best self, feel great so you can live a long, happy, healthy life. That's my goal here on Blindside Health, and that's what I wanna help you do as well. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you later.